All right, so here we are in Elite Dangerous. We are in Galileo Station, parked in my little spaceship here. Uh, this ship is called Ventura, as I like to name my ships after street names in Los Angeles. Uh, anyway, here is the system map, which of course Galileo is orbiting the moon in Sol System. So there we are in this little space station. There's the moon. Uh, here's Earth. Here's Mars, which is, has been terraformed apparently. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And then we've got Pluto here, and it's moon Charon, one of its moons. And um, this is interesting because you can land on Charon. Whoop, you can land on Charon, but you can't land on Pluto. And you also, for some reason, cannot land on the moon which is very confusing to me. Uh, you also cannot land on the sun, which I, uh, that kind of makes sense. Um, maybe if it were nighttime, you could land there. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go up to the surface of the space station and take a little look around. Uh, and you have to make those noises, otherwise it doesn't work. So there we go. Here's the inside of the Galileo space station. There's an anaconda taking off and going somewhere. Uh, of course, we have palm trees, because uh, why not? Uh, space palm trees, what we call them. Uh, so here's my little ship, uh, the Ventura. And it's, of course, armed to the teeth with machine guns because, you know, it's me. Uh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let me show you the galaxy map because that's the biggest thing <laughs> in the game. Uh, so here we are at Seoul. And um, all these points of light that you can see with these little half moon little shapes on them, they're all systems that you can jump to. So, you know, you can just kind of navigate to wherever. And, um, like, let's go, let's zoom out a little bit here so we can see more at a time. And eventually I'd like to get out here to Sagittarius A star, which actually isn't a star, but it is a supermassive black hole in the center of the Milky Way galaxy, uh, both in the game and IRL. Uh, so let's uh, zoom out a little bit there, and then we'll go zoom in. So as you get closer to the center of the galaxy, uh, just like in real life, um, you will notice that uh, it gets very dense. Uh, so dense, in fact, that the computer can't really render it. <laughs> and so you can see everything kind of just disappears for a second. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you can actually go to every single one of these points of light uh, in the game. Uh, and there are four. There are 400 billion of them, and each one may have a system of planets and moons and places to go, uh, including Earth-like planets, planets that you can land on. Uh, some of them might even have space stations if we've got stations out there. But most of them, the vast majority of them, do not have space stations. So you're kind of just on your own. Uh, anyway, so we will uh, get out of this for a second and then go back in because we are going to plot a course. We are going to try to visit every single one of these uh, today. So here we go, first one. Uh, we'll set this to auto launch. And I do that uh, not because it's really hard to fly in the station, but more so I can just give you this cool view of us leaving the station, which is pretty neat. You might recognize this music from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, it is really cool that that's in the game. Um, yeah. Looks like we're waiting for somebody. Actually, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. Oh, probably that dude. Uh -huh. ah. All right, well, we'll just listen to the music for a little while. Oh, there we go. So part of the reason this music is actually in here is it's a reference to the spinning 
that um, the stations have to do to maintain gravity. So the station's actually rotating. So now that we've left the station, our rotation isn't uh, matching anymore. So, you know, relatively the station is turning more than we are. All right. All right, let's make this jump. Oh, so, of course, there's the moon uh, once again that you cannot land on for reasons. Uh, there's Earth over there, which you also cannot land on for even more reasons. Uh, so let's, uh, let's head out to Alpha Centauri, which of course is the closest star to our star uh, at only 4.3 light years away. Uh, you have exceeded the station exclusion zone. Watch your six, Commander. Uh, thank you, whatever that was. Uh, and so we're going to jump out there. Now, in a normal ship for today, this would take about 75,000 years going top speed at about 27,000 miles per hour. To get there um, but today in this ship it's only going to take us probably about 15 20 seconds as we slip into a super cruise here and more or less warp over to Alpha Centauri all right so here we are in Alpha Centauri that was a uh, pretty painless um, so now we've only got 399 billion, 999 million, 999,999 systems to go to. So um, grab a snack, go to the bathroom, and uh, we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and target our next system here. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's go here. <laughs> 